Hello everyone, and today we'll be making mobile support for our Dash script, yeah? So I'm going to be using my old model, which is simple Dash, yeah? Which you can also find in the description down below. Then you got to put this script inside of starter player script, which you can see inside of here. But this script also has a small problem. When you play the game, you can dash normally by pressing Q. But when you restart, when you respawn, you will see I'm not be able to move again. This is like a big issue, which we will fix right now. So to fix this, we're going to add a local a function, local function set up character which is char now what we're gonna do is look at our humanoid which is char level point wait wait i'll make it bigger for you guys char level point wait for child and what we're gonna do is humanoid and we're also gonna do a local root part which is char the point wait for child humanoid root part yeah then what you can do is oh wait i'm sorry what you can do is go here double enter what you can actually do is you can copy this whole thing and then you can actually just control exit go here control v so it's inside of this function i'm going to make it look a bit nicer so here i'm going to do an enter dash read here i'm going to do an enter but what you also have to do here is you delete these two things you also delete this so you only have here i'm going to read this to players and this user input service yeah then i'm going to put this input service here now what i'm also going to do is i'm going to do here local player equals players dot local local dot local player this will stay the same okay then you can see here we have a lot of red which will copy our humanoid thing the basis and everything that is uh, seeing a uh, root parts we're gonna change this only also this yeah and what we will do here we will delete these things so it will be root part dot velocity equals move direction times dash speed and what we're going to do also here is a task dot weight instead of just a weight dash duration and this is all all right yeah then what we're going to do here is we're going to control this again but then we're going to go here to the one with like a brackets and then we're going to paste inside of here copy humanoids i'm gonna paste this here copy root part paste inside of here now what we're gonna do is just simply do our underscore here comma that and if it's dashing and new state equals uh, jumping then velocity is zero is dot i'm gonna do here zero is dashing equals false yeah now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a double enter if play dot rec uh then what we're gonna do is set up character player dot rec there. and then inside of here play that click edit a point connect function set up character without the ending here just like this uh, without the function i'm sorry because we're not making a function like this set of character it's from me now oh i'm doing here local player but this has to be this boom just through the local player here normally we can like dash after our time when we respawn our character you will see we can again just dash like normally yeah now also another question people have been asking me to make is mobile support for this so to make this we're gonna make our own button yeah so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into starter gui screen gui and let's make this dash gui make this here for uh, i mean a text button i'm gonna do this dash button yeah and what we can do is we can take the position which will be this one minus 20 one minus 20 but actually do minus 100 also the anchor point which is also important will be 1,1 which will move it right over here and the size will be 0 0.12,0,0.0 12 comma zero which will make it like a bit like this yeah and we can also change the background color which will do 255 uh, 255 comma 80 comma 80 so we have like a bit of like a reddish color uh the text you will make it bold i'm gonna make it for the one you can just make it however you like want that uh, text you will do dash and do text scaled text color i'll make it white uh, if you want you can just add a ui corner and i'll make this 1,0 so it's like completely rounded this is our little dash script like that dash button i mean okay so then we have our dash button but it doesn't work yet so when we play the game also the pc players see the dash button which is not okay yeah? we can just like go into our like iphone x or something you will see our dash button right over here uh we're gonna go back into our 
local script and we're gonna go change some things yeah so under here we're gonna do local run service equals game double point get service run service this is just to know like if you're playing on mobile or like pc or on controller but of course the script will be completely different so we're gonna do local function perform dash this humanoid dot root part yeah right side here yeah then we're gonna do if tick minus last dash time is smaller than dash cooldown or is dashing then return end and if not what you're gonna do is we're gonna local our move direction which you can just control x from here it's inside of here and we're gonna do also if move direction dot magnitude e double equal to zero then return end again and last dashing time equals tick is dashing equals to true now what you can do is we can copy all of these things our locals control x so we got it and double enter here paste inside of here now what you can also do is you can also control x this double paste this inside over here then we can actually just remove this yeah but we're gonna need this later but we're not gonna make that right now we're gonna also do local function setup character like this car which will be local Oh, wait actually wait we don't need to delete this setup character is already here humanoid is good this is good these are input says input began function input comma game processed now what you can do is we can actually just remove whatever inside of here and then we got what we're gonna do is if game processed then return and if not if input dot dot key code equals to enum dot key code dot q then what we're gonna do is perform dash humanoid comma root part yeah then of course you also need a mobile support which we can do right over here double enter here local pattern equals player double point wait for child player g ui double point wait for child dash gui which is what we may name it here and also the point wait for child dash but so now we came up to the dash button yeah what you're gonna do if user input servers that touched enabled so that means we're on mobile then what we're gonna do is dash button dot visible equals true else dash but button dot visible equals to false so if you're on pc the button will not be shown and then this we can leave it here and then normally it should work so we're on phone you should see it should work of course i cannot test it wait visible is not a valid member because i completely misspelled it because i'm stupid okay so visible visible like this and everything should work we have a dash thing here we can like of course you have to be moving in order to dash yeah i think you can change this just to test we can just put it like in things so now we can also just no never mind okay so now when you test the mobile the button should normally work when you move so when you hold move and you click uh, dash at the same time you can dash i'll put it like shut up sound above the jump button it'll be above the jump button in any like phone you can see uh, but when you're playing on like uh, our like desktop you'll see the dash button will disappear because we're not playing on mobile so you don't need the dash button this is how you make this dash button work for mobile i hope you guys enjoyed we also fixed this uh, the issue that when you respawn yeah that you cannot dash anymore which you can right now again you see we fix that as well thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next one